Dear Vagina, why is everyone so damn afraid of you? What did you do to the world? Everyone seems to think that you are a problem. Close your damn legs, grand shouts to six-year-old me. Close your damn legs before the boys can see, before the men can see, before your uncle or daddy come and find you on display. Vagina, can't you hear? All those around you speak of you in hushed tones. Their voices drop at the mention of your name. You must have really fucked up for them to speak of you in such a way with disgust and such disdain. Why wouldn't they anyway? After all, you shed tons of blood for a couple of days a month with no supposed reason. Like seriously, who hurt you that you must bleed in such an uncouth manner? Close your damn legs, they command. They command me to keep you in this thigh prison. My thighs, your prison guards, supposedly ready at any moment to protect you. I must warn you not to get too comfortable, dear vagina. Your thighs are not impenetrable. I wrote it um, when I was just also going through a very, a very intense phase of, of self-awareness and of finding myself where I am and who I am and just being woman and what does being woman mean. Then I thought about also sexuality and why as women we're not really allowed to proclaim our sexuality because then if you do there's a problem with you you're either a hoe or you know yeah it's it's very problematic i like to talk boldly about things that people like to speak in hushed tones and then i thought okay every time someone says vagina people cringe even when i would say it at the time i would cringe myself and then i decided to think about vagina and you know, what image comes to your mind when you think of vagina. When I wrote um, Close Your Damn Legs, I, especially at the end, you know, um, when I say that your thigh guards are not impenetrable, that's you know, it's just also calling out patriarchy and saying you're constantly telling women and telling us girls to sit with our legs closed, but then you're the same people who come and intrude, who come and invade. So what are you on about? What's your agenda type thing? So it, it's kind of calling, like checking patriarchy, check yourselves because it's very um, contradictory. Um, but then at the same time, it's highlighting rape culture that it happens to one in three, you know, one in three, one in three. And that figure should constantly be on your mind. I do not consider the vagina a curse or a burden, actually, because it's a part of me. It is biological and, damn, it's magical. <laughs> I think it's the bomb diggity.